welcome. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts and I'm outside um, fixing to make a table out of some uh, barrel um, flower pots. <laughs> it's hot out here today. It's about 90 degrees and it's humidity. You just feel sticky and icky and so um, let's get started and get this on its way. So I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. It's Saturday here for me. Um, and it's a hot one. And before I put that glove on, let me just go ahead. I've got some E6000. I've got two of these big um, half barrels. Um, these came from Dollar General. But I was fixing to order some from... Um, Amazon. They have them also. Um, I'll put a link to some that I found in the description um, because a lot of my friends couldn't find uh, these and I only found uh, two and I bought them. I took one back was because it was busted real bad and then the other one I started to put my plant in it and seen it had a big crack. I already had um, had my plant ready to go in it, so I just kept it. This one is about um, 13 inches across on the bottom. They're, um, let's see, about 11 and a half inches tall. And then the big section over here is about 19 and a half inches wide. It's a baby girl. So what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna take my, first before I forget it, I'll be forgotten if I don't go ahead and do it. I got a brick and I'm putting it in the bottom. This is gonna go right here up under my little carport. Uh, it's not a carport, it's a back porch. Um, so the wind is not gonna be real heavy through here, but just to make it, you know, more heavy, um, more stable, I am gonna put a brick in mine. You can put a brick, a block, a, um, just something, some sand, rocks, gravel, you know, just something to kind of give it some weight. Now this E6000 will take 24 to 48 hours to totally seal. But I'm not gonna be moving it around so it should stay just fine. And I thought about doing a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place kind of till it dried and sealed, but I'm outside. I didn't want to bring my hot glue gun and, and do all that. So I said nine times out of 10, it's gonna be okay. There's, uh, it shouldn't get wet. It shouldn't, wind shouldn't be. Too bad we don't have no hurricanes right now so all right um now i got the the e6000 all the way around the top now this one let's see yeah right here it looks like you know the how the barrels have the straps it's got these right here it was got little like little notches in them so this one's got it right there. So I wanted to try to line them up to make it look as realistic as we could. that's kind of peeking through the cracks. And like I said, my mother is the one that found these two for me. Okay, and I sweet talked my husband. I said, I need a, a piece of wood. You got some scrap wood, he's a builder, he's a carpenter. Um, 
so I, I last weekend I told him I said I need some wood I need some rectangle pieces and I need and I gave him some dimensions and I wrote down a circle and then I came back and changed the circle I made it bigger he said what are you using these for I said well I'm gonna make some tables so he said oh so you need something thicker it don't have to be real thick just um, y'all, my hand is so sweaty. My glove don't even want to go on. Um, so he came back with this, um, let me show y'all what I got here. This, this thick board, isn't that nice? So I'm going to use the other end, y'all. This is one of my rags that I've used for everything. Stain, white paint, everything. So, y'all, it has been so hot here. I get hot, I get a headache. So, I, I'm not a, a real big fan of getting, staying hot for long periods of time. But I really wanted to do this. I just think they're so pretty. And I'm just taking some, I think it's walnut. Yes, dark walnut stain. And I'll come back with some silver. But I just wanted to get this on here. Now, I'm not, right at this moment, I'm not, and I may change my mind later, and I may add the E6000 and attach this, um, let me get this. So y'all can see more of what I'm doing. Um, I may come back later and glue this on to the, the little table, but as I sit right now, I'm just going to sit it on top of there. I mean, I'm not have no plans of not ever taking it off so it'll probably get glued on but at the moment I'm just gonna sit it on there now, all you professional stainers probably tell me I'm doing you know tell me all the steps I'm doing wrong here but this is turning out so pretty and it it's a color about the same as just a barrel there. See how pretty? Go around the edges here. And I didn't think about handling this. I should have got me two gloves. But it's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be nothing but some some kind of soap or lacquer thinner or some paint thinner or something to take off. This dark walnut. Walnut is beautiful. I'm gonna go over here and um turn this over and just give this back side. Yeah, there it is. There's a well, he told me I forgot about that. He said I got wrote on there which side is the bottom. He was being so helpful to me. I have so many projects that I have stuff like this in my craft room just waiting to be done and getting time to do them. So I said, I've got to get some of this stuff done so that I can clean out a spot to, to walk. 
My husband don't like to walk in there. He said, I have to just slither through here. I said, I know, I got to, I got to get this stuff made. I got to get it on. So today is this project. And it's, it's a beautiful day, but it's, oh, it's hot. And I hear the air conditioner keep kicking on and I have to go inside to get something and come back out. No, oh, it's, mm. I don't like to be cold. I am a cold natured person, but this heat and humidity is rough. Okay. I got a little bit on there, but it'll, it'll all come off. Okay, he said this was my bottom side. How beautiful it is. And it's heavy. It's probably, what, three-fourths of an inch thick. Yeah, it's three-fourths of an inch thick, so it's, it is thick. Nice and heavy, so this, right here beside my little glider, is where I'm gonna put it. It's gonna fall back, so I love it. I'm very happy with it. Now I have a table I can sit out here and drink my coffee and have a place to set my cell phone down and and all that good stuff. Well, a nice cold drink of water would be nice. So thank y'all for watching. If you hadn't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it. Hit the little bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I think the heat's getting to me. So, thank y'all. I love you all. And until next time, you'll make something pretty. Make something that's unique. Make it, make it your own. And if you want to find me on Facebook, I have a VIP group. It's Rachel's Unique Crafts VIP. Uh, you can share pictures of your crafts that you made and get ideas from other people. So thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.